Hello everyone. Welcome to Inventory Management and Deterministic Demand Recitation Session. Let's try to do a quick recap on what we have learned so far. So we began our topic on inventory with a general introduction into inventory management. We tried to understand some of the assumptions that we make in coming up with an inventory policy. And what is an inventory policy? What it is, is how much to order and when. And then we realized that this could be complex. In lesson two, EOQ was introduced. And I hope by now we understand what EOQ does. And what it does is tries to balance between the variable and the fixed cost. And it's a good starting point to begin. In lesson three, we dig a little bit deeper. We loosened some of the initial assumptions that we made. We introduced the notion of non-zero lead times and introduced discounts, three different type of discount settings. And then finally, we went into finite replenishment systems. What we will do now in this recitation session is try to reinforce some of these concepts that we have learned so far. And we will do this by going over some problem solutions step by step. And hopefully you will find this very helpful. So let's get into our first problem. So let's look into the problem. You have been hired by the MIT Coop to help them improve their supply chain operations. The Coop manager has asked you to look into managing one of their wildly popular pamphlets on student life. The demand for this pamphlet is exceptionally stable. What it means is virtually no variability. Annually, the Coop sells about 5,000 of these pamphlets and it sells them for $1.10 per copy. The Coop orders these pamphlets in batches of 500 units at a time and it costs the Coop $1.100 to place a single order. You also find that the Coop is paying the publisher $1.02 per copy and the inventory holding cost is $0.28 cents per dollar inventory per year. 